Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Camp Pathway. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. First of all, one thing is very important to note that Camp Pathway is not the alternative of C3. C3 pathway occurs in all plants since C3 pathway is the only process that makes sugar during photosynthesis. So every plant has to go through C3 cycle in order to produce glucose. Then what is CAM pathway? During photosynthesis, whenever plants open their stomata to allow CO2 in and oxygen out, water loss also occurs. In very hot and dry habitats, plants require to reduce this water loss. In order to do so, desert plants like cactus have adopted a technique called Crasulation Acid Metabolism or CAM pathway. What they do? They keep their stomata closed during the hot, dry daylight hours. Then at night they open their stomata since the rate of water loss is greatly reduced at that time. Hence CO2 enters plant cell at night. Let's see what happens at night. In mesophyll cell cytoplasm a CO2 acceptor is present called phosphoenol pyruvate or PEP and the enzyme PEP carboxylase or PEP case is responsible for the fixation of CO2 with PEP which yields oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate then forms mallet. Mallet then moves into the vacuole of the cell and stays in vacuole till next day morning. During daytime, the stomata gets closed and the mallet is moved into the cytoplasm from the vacuole. In cytoplasm, the mallet is broken down to release carbon dioxide and a pyruvate. This CO2 then enters chloroplast to undergo C3 pathway for glucose generation. Pyruvate is converted to phosphoenol pyruvate again to initiate a new cycle. 